Setting up a Squarespace website in multiple languages can be a real pain. So that's why today I'm going to show you how to create or translate your Squarespace website into multiple languages using Weglot. Uh, Weglot was actually kind enough to sponsor this video, so let's just dive straight into how it works. Hi, I'm Sandra and on my channel I help business owners get their shit together so that they can save time and make more money. I'm currently on Weglot's homepage and you can either start a free trial or log into your existing account. So I'm just going to show you, I've already logged in in the next tab and I'm going to show you what you see when you get started. Um, so this is the first screen, as you see it's like, welcome to Weglot, we'll help you make your Squarespace website multilingual in a few minutes by following this quick start. Um, and it re really is very simple, even though you say scary words or you see scary words like CNAME entries and DNS records. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to enter our domain name. So I'm just going to use mine instead of a testing one, just so you can see it in action. Um, I'm going to select the original language, which is English for my website. And then because I'm Dutch, let's do Dutch as the translated website. And then I'm going to say next. And now it's going to prompt me to actually log into Squarespace and change some of the uh, DNS records. Um, but if you look at the fine print, you can also add the support and ask them to do it for you. Um, there's even a step-by-step -step guide. Uh, let's just see how far we get. Um, technically, I should be able to do this. Um, so let's go into settings, domain, And then the record should pop up. Let me move my face to the other side. We don't really need it anyway. Advanced DNS settings. And we are going to add a CNAME record. Um, and as you'll see now, we now have here at the bottom, we've added a custom record. Um, it's a CNAME record. And then we needed the information NL and then the alias data should be this website.weglot.com. So we're going to add that here. So as you can see what I've did, I've just added an extra record here in the DNS settings. Um, and I'm going to click add. And that should be the trick. So once you've entered, please wait a few minutes. Okay, we've automatically been redirected to the um, main screen after successfully setting it up and adding the DNS records and the code injection. Um, so as you'll see now, we've got, we're currently on a free plan, 2000 word limit. These are the words currently translated. None of it's been translated by human and there's only one language added. So if we go to translations, we'll actually see the translated words, language pairs, English to Dutch, and here it goes. Um, so you'll see here that some of this has been edited by me, some of it is automatically translated, um, and you'll see this I've just changed, so then it will say translation saved. So let's go down the line and look for something that translates. So here, for example, we've got web design and that's literally translated, but in Dutch we'll use the same term for that, so let's change it. And then you'll see that it will say manually added translation, translation saved now. See, so this one's fine. So let me just see. So I've now just confirmed it. So if you want to do it really clearly, you can go line by line um, and actually save them. So even though this is automatic, it's correct. So now you'll know that it's translation saved, it's manually added, it should, should be all right. But now you see if you go to nl.centervenderly.com, there's a subdomain and it is in Dutch. And here you can see the home is still in English because we translated that back. Um, and there's also, I've added some new pages and some of the translations are a li little bit wonky. So I'll have to go back and edit those um, manually. But this is just to show you that once you've added all the translation, before you add all the translations, depending on the settings, it actually already so that looked pretty doable, right? If you want to sign up for a free trial of Weglot, you can do so through the link in the description box below. And please leave a like or a comment because it means so much to hear from you.